Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about how to create a SSAS package in Visual Studio. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe my channel and also like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of SSAS with the scenario based and also interview questions and much more updated in this channel. So if you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easily survive in the real time environment. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to create SSAS package. In previous video, we have explained about how to create a project, right? SSAS project. First of all, you have to create the project. Inside the project, we can able to create the package. Okay. So how to create the package? We are going to learn step by step process. Inside SSAS uh, package, there is a control flow and also data flow also is there and we are going to discuss about the scenario as well okay so fine let's start the visual studio so i installed visual studio 2019 version you can open it so demo project in previous uh, class we already created right this one just select this one Here demo project inside demo project so there is a SSAS package here package dot DTSX this is the extension right DTSX is the extension so if you want to create a new package you right click and you can able to create the new package as well okay so in the package itself in the package if you double click it oh, okay fine so in the package what will happen here control flow is there and data flow is there parameters is there event handlers is there package explorer there, right so now we have to understand about what is control flow what is data flow so basically what is control flow control flow is going to control the flow of the data very very important definitely they are going to ask in interview what is the control flow in SSAS package what is the data flow what is the difference between okay you can expect uh, such kind of questions so you have to answer like this control flow is going to control the flow of the data how the data is going to flow for example so which data is going to load first which data is going to load second and which is going to load the last for example there is a scenario i want to load data from sql server to excel file okay and pdf file to csv files so in this case which one is going to load first and which one is going to load second and which one is going to load uh, last which which will be decided in the control flow control flow is going to decide so basically what is the functionality of control flow control flow is going to control the flow of the data that is the answer you have to explain this scenario so if you tell these examples it will be better okay and what is data flow here data flow is there right so what is the data flow so data flow is nothing but under data flow we are going to define from which source to which destination we are going to load the data and also we are going to define our own logic okay based on our requirement whatever the requirement so if you want some transformation the transformation logic we can able to define here okay so in the control flow will manage all data flows in the control flow will manage the all data flows okay so now let's uh, start the scenario how real time scenarios will be there so what is the scenario here so i want to load data from source csv file to destination csv file okay so fine so first of all create one uh, source csv file okay so let's take a excel file that is fine now just open here from here we can take one save as yes i want to go for uh, csv file okay fine so name name let me rename as source file okay let me keep uh, source as source because we can easily able to understand just save it okay source file is created and i want to create another file also okay that is a destination file we'll do one thing first of all uh, we created source file right in the source file we just keep some data okay so for example i want to keep some uh, employee data okay so from the web i will take this employee data 
let me open browser here we can take data employee and department table excel right let me open this here you can able to see employee table just copy the data now you have to paste in the csv file So it is an Excel file, right? Where is the CSV file? Yeah. So you can you can close this. It's not required actually. Let's open source file. In the source file, yeah. Now paste the data. Yeah, this is fine for me. Now, yeah. You can rename as EMP. Okay. So in the source file, what happened here? In the source file, I have the data. So from this source file to, I want to copy in destination file. We have to create the destination file as well, right? Now open this Excel file again. So from here, we can able to create. Save as. Now make it a destination as destination and uh, what is the format csv and just save it okay so now close this yeah see here now you have a source file now this is not required you can take off now you have source file and destination file in the destination file nothing is there right in the destination file nothing is there so what is my scenario from the source to destination i want to copy the data okay so what is the data so let me take off why data is in this format just put it here mm. it's a comma separated right just save it okay now let me check again yeah my data is in correct format okay so in the source file we have the data employee table is there right this same table I want to copy in the destination file as well, right? So you can mention not required. Don't say open it is there or not? Yes, it is there, no problem. So in the destination, nothing is there. Okay. So I want to copy from source CSV file to destination CSV file using SSS package okay how to do that first of all in the SSS uh, toolbox here there is a data flow task we have to take this data flow task first of all here we can rename this data flow task right click rename you can give some good name in the real time so uh, here I am putting load uh, data uh, from source source to destination that is fine for me okay now once you take this data flow task you have to double click on if you double click on so what will happen it will come to the data flow in the data flow so what is data flow we have to define here source and a destination from where to where we are going to copy the data right and also if you want some logic we can add that logic also that is also fine okay in coming sessions uh, we are going to explain more things okay so now it is a simple scenario and day-to-day -day life we are going to use such kind of uh, scenarios okay S here if you come here uh, you can able to see other sources in the other sources so we have to take uh, flat fold sites okay so why we have to take uh, flat fold source so it is a csv file right that's the reason why we have to take flat file source okay so source is ready and where is the destination so we have to take uh, under other destination and there is uh, yeah flat file destination as well it is there so now what we have to do we can resize if you want to you can resize okay you have to 
connect this precedence controller okay connect this yeah so here you can able to see into mark cross mark right with the red color that means we have taken destinations but we have to configure this okay so just we have taken flat file source and uh, flat file destination we have to configure this so double click so we first we have to configure the source file double click on it here uh, you have to take uh, new flat file connection manager um, flat file connection manager uh, you can put something like that uh, want csv for our understanding okay so and also we have to uh, file where is the file that we have to take it so in the desktop where is that file csv files source source is configured columns how the data is you can see the preview here see the preview okay fine there is nothing problem okay and just click on okay now see cross mark is removed red color cross mark is removed now we have to that means uh, source is configured now what we have to do the other step is now we have to uh, define this uh, uh, configure this flat file destination as well double click and here you have to take uh, destination manager as well so what is our uh, destination csv file right this is fine the columns are delimited uh, by commas so we can take this one this is fine except last one is delimited by new line character fixed width and fixed width uh, row delimiters and rated right and all. so you can choose the any one whatever you appropriate one so now for our destination this is fine just click ok so for flat see we have to create uh, for source one manager for destination one manager flat file connection now we can take a destination destination csv manager that is fine so destination where you want to copy so i want to copy into the destination csv file you have to select that file and just click on ok and just uh, so coming to the mapping yeah so correctly is mapped or not yes employee here in the input column employee number here also employee number only okay so if you want to rename we can rename also that is also possible okay everything is mapped correctly just click on okay now see uh, flat file source uh, source also remove the cross mark and the destination as well also remove the cross mark right that means now we configured source file uh, uh, source file manager and also uh, flat file manager right both we configured now what we have to do we have to start the package just click on start yeah see with the green color that means successfully it is executed so how many rows here 40 rows 40 rows from uh, flat file source to and destination file from source to destination how many uh, rows are transferred 40 rows are transferred uh, let me check it first of all yeah let me open source file how many rows are there yes 14 rows are there yes exactly 14 rows are there right yeah 14 rows are there uh, now come to the destination yes in the destination it is copied 14 rows are there right so in this way we can able to uh, load the data one csv file to another csv file this is the scenario okay so fine so um, in this way we can able to create the package and we can able to load the data one csv file to another csv file okay thank you for watching my video you can tell the same scenario in the interview as well okay so if anybody looking for special training on sss you can uh, email to this email or you can call to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same number okay so thank you for watching my video